So this is also our first time coming into a major renovation slash construction. Yeah. We're a bit scared. Of course, we've heard many, many horror stories. It's always going to be a huge financial outlay. But we tried to prepare the best way we can, but we're taking you guys along for the ride. Let's go. So this is day one. Day one is really just cleaning up the site. Although they demolished it naman namin. Pero para mahakot na rin lahat ng mga bagay-bagay dito. There's a lot of trash, a lot of dead leaves and plants. A lot of bugs, a lot of everything that's not very nice. So wow. we're gonna clear <laughs> all that up. <laughs> My new car. It's Char. beautiful. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is the place that we are hopefully going to convert into our new content studio. Yeah. Kasi na graduate na kami dun sa condo namin. Ayo na namin na uh, condo and bahay and studio in one. Yes, kailangan ni hiwalay na siya. So we are going to bring all our content here to this very house, and we're gonna give you a little bit of a tour about the condition of the house right now. Yeah, kasi medyo malala siya, but at the same time, that also makes it really, really exciting. It is our first construction project ever. Ever. We've always been condo people. We said that in the podcast. So this whole process, we wanted to put it on YouTube and show you guys the journey and maybe the headaches of what does it take to convert and renovate an old asset into something new and usable again. Yeah, but before we give you a tour, here's a little bit of information about this place. Okay, Bonizi, why are we doing this? Well, we're putting together a studio, mainly for the content that we create. But aside from that, we also want to create content that we create. <laughs> Kailangan ba natin ng studio para sa content na ginagawa natin? Actually, hindi naman talaga. Kasi we've been doing our content from our house most of the time, our condo. But parang dumating na siya sa point na parang ayoko yung trabaho ko na sa bahay ko. <laughs> True. Gusto ko maiba naman yung atmosphere and I feel like a lot of people can resonate with that since may work from home situation na tayo ngayon na minsan kailangan ko rin makalabas ng bahay. Minsan kailangan ko ng ibang atmosphere or ng ibang setting man lang. Okay, so to expound lang on kung ano yung sinabi ni Bones, yung separation ng work and home, yeah. yun yung gusto niya. Because for the longest time, ever since nag-pandemic kasi, we've explained this in other vlogs and podcasts, but yung nangyari doon is our home became our workplace. Naging production house yung bahay namin, which was okay. Kasi yun yung way, uh, yun yung ginawa namin paraan para makapag-survive doon sa pandemic. Yeah. So, a lot of change happened during that period. And personally, our change was that we turned our home into a studio. Yeah. So all the vlogs and reels and podcasts that you would see, we would do at home. And all the editing, pre-prod, conceptualizing and writing, also happened at home, which is okay. It is actually great for a time. Mm -hmm. Pero siyempre ngayon that everybody's out and about again. Everybody's growing. Parang naisip namin, you know what? I think it's time for us to also grow and expand. And of course, it's hard to grow and then expand in a condo. Kasi siyempre, limited yung space, space limited yung flexibility, limited yung content na pwede mong gawin, especially now that you can go outside. So ang ending nun, we started looking outside for studio space. Hello, come in. Look, our beautiful entrance to the house, de ba? Na imagine yun ba? Kasi ako hindi pa. Pero this is where we think the reception reception is going to be. It's a it's a work in progress. Everything is very fluid with our ideas. How do you imagine this area? I imagine na papasok yung kotse dito. Paglabas mo, bababaka, and then you are entrance your entrance you are greeted by a cute entrance yeah we don't know what's going to be here if there's going to be a nice reception table coffee food uh, we'll see we'll see we'll see anyway come in come in come in come in see the rest of the place all right pagpasok nyo dito you are greeted by the biggest studio in the house and it's where majority of the shoots that we want to happen. To make planning of the design a bit easier for us, we already divided how we're going to partition the house. So this whole area is Studio A. Careful. 
So this is where your main shoots are going to be. Kung magkakaroon kami ng mga brand shoots or people are going to come in and use the space. This is where you're going to set the backdrop. That's where the photographer is going to be. Dito ako mag-pose, pose, sheesh, what's up? And we wanted a lot of light. So we imagine marami tayo mga windows dito. It's going to be glass. Semi scared about that because it's hot. Because it's hot. 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 The studio that they design is the coffee bar. You know we have to have a coffee bar. How did we find this, Bonizi? And there's a bit of history here for you and me, me specifically. I don't think we exactly found it. It kind of, sort of, was there already. And then we thought, natin, ha, huh, pwede to. So what's what's the backstory behind this beautiful space that we have here, folks? Yeah. So this is my Lola's old house. Yeah. And when she passed away a couple of years ago, we realized, Bonizi and I, that hindi na siya nagagamit. Yeah. And sayang naman because there's a lot of memories here. But aside from the memories, it's also a beautiful plot of land. So we thought, what better way to honor the place where I grew up, yeah. where my Lola lived, than by making it a nice and productive asset, a beautiful place. Okay, we're back in the studio and there's a lot to fix, a lot to get rid of, a lot to move around. And Popo found his old script from Sana Ikaw Na Nga. What's up guys? Carlos Miguel. How are you doing? How script is that? Um, November 6, 2012. Wow. It's over 10 years old, 11 years old. All right, behind us is my favorite part of the studio, which is on this side, the coffee bar, soon to be, and right beside it is the dressing room. Nakailangan naman talaga kapag may studio ka. Where are you gonna get ready? Bones, well, you completely forgot to mention this is Studio B. Siyempre, inuna ko muna yung favorite. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Akala ko di mo yung mention. Pero tama naman. So, coffee area, uh, dressing room number one. Ooh, wow. Kasi dalawa yung dressing room. And this is Studio B. So, we imagine ito yung magiging partition. And we're thinking of an open workspace. So, yung partition namin, mga kurtina lang. Yeah, yeah. Mga soundproof na curtains. And Nas soundproof because we have the podcast na minsan namin ginagawa palagi but we want to make it more uh, consistent and we want to have a nice place to do the podcast hopefully we can produce other kinds of podcasts also yeah and the reason why we made it open was we were thinking because if ever we wanted to combine studio A and B we needed a bigger set a bigger mm -hmm. space to work in we have that option see we, want, we wanted to make it very modular and functional and the same time malam mo may party tayo dito may konting event we have many ideas for this place. Yeah. So we're trying to keep an open mind in terms of uh, designing the area. But let's go over here. Okay. Careful lang. Ay, lutuan. Oh. Okay, so here, this is the coffee nook. So this used to be a bar area in this old house. But we decided, okay, this is perfect. Let's have a little coffee place. We imagine a your bar. counter is here. Meron kang espresso machine. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Meron kang slow bar dito. And then, yung gagawin namin, magbubutas kami dito ng ano. Window. Uh, window. Para, Para may, may ilaw na pumasok. So, natural light is very important to us. So, maglalagay kami ng window dito. And malay mo, if it becomes a business, then... Wait. Pa-order naman, coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Ano bang pangalan ng coffee shop na in-orderan mo? Coast. <laughs> in any construction, obviously, that entails a huge amount of uh, funding. Yeah. Pero we wanted to take the risk. Kasi yun nga, we're still relatively young. Still no baby bones and baby fofo. <laughs> so habang wala pa, sulitin na natin to. I guess, 
it is a big risk for us financially kasi yung funds naman natin and yung savings naman natin tinatabi lang talaga natin kasi hindi naman kami mahilig bumili ng mga mamahaling gamit or yung mga designer items so nung nagcompute kami ng ano namin yung financial sub financial meeting namin na realize namin na okay baka pwede tayo magtabi ng pera para dito sa construction na to kasi mapupunta din naman siya sa business natin and sa work na kini create talaga natin. Ikaw nga, gotta spend money to make money. Ayan tayo. <laughs> so one of the things that I really wanted when it came to the studio was a really nice, big, spacious dressing room space with a a really nice bathroom that we could also shoot content in. Kasi syempre, when you're getting ready, you want to be comfortable. If ever other people or our friends come and shoot here, we want them to feel comfortable while they're getting ready. And voila, I mean, as a as somebody who likes getting dressed up and made up, I really want that nice space talaga. Yeah, so we gave Bones two out of the one out of the two conditions. She wanted a nice big. I, we're giving her a nice semi big. <laughs> yeah. So this is the dressing room. Um, I imagine uh, it to be very very comfortable because yeah, we're coming from our own experiences, mm. and we really wanted a space that feels like home because that's what makes for us. A good dressing room. Okay. Gusto namin na may sofa na comfortable. Comfortable, importante. Oh, kailang oh. comfortable. Kasi hassle yung mga dressing room kasi you're staying there for four to six hours. Kung wala siyang upuan, longer, yeah. or sometimes parang hindi ko magani yung aircon, yeah. or madilim. So para sa amin, we know and understand the importance of having a very comfy dressing room, and that's hopefully what we get to achieve over here. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Along with a nice little bathroom, which will be right over there. there. Gusto ko yung mala, ano, mala Vogue na videos na habang get ready with me. Yan yung peg ko talaga sa ganyan. Ano bang budget mo dito? Uh, budget ni Fofo. <laughs> Allah. 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 I'll never forget the one time I went here for your family lunch reunion. And then, galing akong taping siguro like a Sunday show kasi Sunday Oh yeah you know galing kang ano yung variety show sa ABS yeah, sa sa ASA galing ako asap, noon asap. I was hosting tapos naka full makeup ako as in itim yung mata ko tapos very rockista vibes alam mo naman yung style ko dati so parang naka off shoulder tapos rugged shorts naka Doc Martin tapos your tito looked at me and he was like oh that's a different style <laughs> <laughs> Pero feeling ko may konting okray pa ng konti. Pero parang hindi niya maintindihan siguro, bakit kaya ganito yung style ng batang to? Uh, rebelde ba to? <laughs> Ganun yung vibes na na-feel ko eh. But aside from that, you know, I really enjoyed getting to know your family in this space. Kasi feeling ko, mas nakilala ko sila ng lubos habang kumakain tayo, habang nagkakaintuhan tayo. Lubos talaga. Lubos. I've habang, never heard you say habang that word. tayo dito. So, it was really a nice time for me to get to know your family here. Alright, we're here in Studio B. Imagine my sliding doors dito. Bubuksan mo, lalabas ka. Because... Right outside is the kitchen studio. Well, it's not technically outside, but it's on the other side of the whole building. And the reason why we have this is, we're not because we're not really into it. It's very simple dishes, lang naman. But we're one, we're willing to learn. Two, somebody else might come in and cook. <laughs> or three, we might have content that we want to shoot na about kitchen or about food. Appliances. But maybe just an extra story here. So I actually lived here when I was younger. So this is um, this is my Lola's place, as I yeah. mentioned before. We lived here because I think my parents left for like three weeks. Oh wow! They went abroad. So all my siblings, all seven of us at that time, we slept over here, and this is where we would have breakfast every morning. So literally, this is where the dining table was. I'm not even sure if I have photos. I was with my Lola, I was with my Lolo. So I do have a lot of memories here. So this dining area, we're converting into our kitchen studio and it's just the evolution of the room. It's nice to know. Yeah, it's, it's nice to look back on. Like, the memories I have here are when I first met your family, you would have Sunday lunches here. So there's definitely a lot of history with this place. So why did we choose this exact space to make into our studio? Well, um, I think one is familiarity. Mm. Alam na natin kung ano yung pwede mangyari dito. Eh. Yeah. Because I've lived here. I've literally lived here. So, na imagine ko na 
kung paano natin makoconvert to. And I was hoping na yung conversion process na yun will be medyo financially friendly rin. Which I think kahit pa paano naman is kind of okay. Yeah. And at the same time, I know the owners. Yes. The, bar, the, tita, own, uh, tita, the owners the owners of this place are my relatives as well. So kahit pa paano yung tenant-landlord relationship mas gumagaan. Kasi yeah. syempre nakakausap natin. Um, they, uh, they allow us a bit more flexibility. Because yes. of course, there's a lot of trust. Coming that we're come from coming from the fact that we're relatives. Yes. Oh, so, and don't worry, we're good tenants. <laughs> I think we're good tenants. <laughs> I believe we're good tenants. <laughs> but anyway, so going back to this, and then at the same time, because gamay na gamay ko na yung lugar na to, and dami ko na na isip na okay, we can make the studio like this and like that. One of the bigger strengths that we have coming into this place is that we know what we want. Yes. We're not building it for the sake of building na naisip natin, ah, sige, magnegosyo tayo, gawa tayo ng studio. Or, or dahil marami ng studio ang lumalabas ngayon, oh. hindi lang natin ginagawa para doon. We may, know what we want in the studio. Mismo, there's a very specific use case na naisip namin. So kahit anong mangyari, kahit ma-zero at wala tayong, uh, walang pumasok dito at gumamit ng studio, tayo magagamit at masusulit talaga namin yung lugar na ito. So that's what makes me very excited that we're here and actually renovating this area. Alam mo, pag sa mga Instagram pictures, nakikita mo yung mga aesthetic hallway shots. This is what I envision for this space. Oh, this is what you envision? Yes. Nakikita parang, mismo. Tara, doon tayo mag-picture. Ito yung ano, sign signature picture area for that. No, that's true. So, um, even I have envisioned how this space is going to be. Imagine here, magiging arko na lang yan. Yeah. Hindi ko alam kung trend yun, but I just like it. Bonizi agrees, so that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be double ar it's gonna be a double archway. Yeah. And a hall with maybe Plants. some small pocket gardens here in the corners. Something nice to transition from state studio A B into the kitchen studio. Yeah. Para may experience pa rin. For me, parang it's all about the experience of going through this yeah. area and through the whole complex. So para sa akin, that is what I'm using as my guiding light in terms of choosing how to design this place. And then, Kanina, during the beginning of this vlog, we showed you the entrance space. But this area can also count as an entrance because dito sa labas, yung parang parking area, and when you go down from there, dito ka papasok, papunta sa studio. So let's check it out. You know, from this space, I actually remember a picture of you and your family, your dad and your siblings, oh, yeah. playing outside here. Oh yeah, oh, okay, okay. I just remembered. I, just, I remember that photo. So in this garden area, this is where we played a lot of our children's games. Yeah. So three games come to mind. The first one is Red Light, Green Light, One, Two, Three, Stop, <laughs> which is the Squid Game game. That's the one we used to play over here. The second one was Luxong Baka, okay. and then the third one was Long Jump. A uh, long jump like the sport? Pahabaan lang ng long jump. I don't know why. Yun yun nila kasi luksong baka pataasan, yes, ba? So natural, parang nainis siguro yung mga natalo. Palayuan. Palayuan naman. So long jump. And then yung squid games na red light, green yeah, light. Yeah. So that's what we used to play here. I can imagine shooting that with the runners. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. So kung arin nagwa-vlog kami, meron kaming parang running man mm. kind of uh, vlog with all the runners and all the friends and our castmates and all the shows that we work in. So I'm very excited. Those are the kinds of content I would like to make. And this is the garden that will allow us to make that kind of content. I'm just really excited that we have a space of our own, yeah. really. During this whole process, I'm ready to learn. Kasi I know that I will need to understand, okay, ano ba yung nangyayari dito? Ano ba yung materialis na to? Ano yung gagawin ng contractor? Paano yeah. ito yung construct? Ayoko yung blind. Sige, kayo na bahala dyan. Yeah. Gusto ko medyo involved ako. That's why we're also doing this vlog. Because we do want to take you with us. And to take you with us, we kind of need to understand what's happening. Yeah, and it's nice because from the very beginning, we decided that we need to always visit the site. Because it's important that we also know who the people who are doing it here are. How are they doing it? How are they doing it? How are they doing it? Progress and nila, environment nila. work environment nila. Are they comfortable also? So importante din sa amin yun because we want to be able to have that good energy habang nag the demolition palang, habang nag construct palang tayo, and hopefully that carries over to the studio pag tapos na. Wow, may renovation na tayo. I can't believe it. Ah, killing.
All right, so the demolition phase is coming to an end. But malapit na ba siya matapos? We hope. We hope, we hope. And then we move on to the actual construction and renovation of the house. And that's gonna be a really fun part because that's where we're gonna be sourcing and choosing what materials to mm. put, and the design of the windows, the mga doors, the floors, the ceilings, how much the ceiling, how much the swimming pool, where the gym, where yep. the basketball court, where the race track, where I'm gonna put the Ferrari. Huh? Ferrari? <laughs> toy, right? It's toy, a toy. Toy, toy, <laughs> No, but anyway, um, that's where a lot of the choosing and figuring out what's gonna be the really itsura na lugar na ito. Yeah. I'm very, very excited. I'm a bit cautious about it because you always hear these horror stories about building yeah. and renovation and working with contractors. But so far, it's been a really smooth process. And we can't wait to introduce to you the people that we're working with behind the studio, our architect, our design team, our contractor. The supplier. So we're going to take you through all of that. This is going to be a multi-part series. Like we said, we want to take you through the whole journey from start to finish. You see the start now. You'll see the middle soon, and hopefully we see the finish before the year ends. Hopeful. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining the vlog, guys. Fofo here. And Bones, bye.